Hi guys, how's it going? Today we have an interesting video where I basically destroyed my furnace. Um, basically we made a furnace a couple of months ago with perlite and clay, but it doesn't have a good insulating effect. So we wanted to use silicate of some sort to enhance its insulating properties. And we decided to melt sodium carbonate and sand to induce a chemical reaction to make chemical, I mean, sodium silicate for us to actually coat the furnace for extra insulating effect. Um, and this reaction requires the ingredients, sodium carbonate and sand, obviously, the furnace and air and fuel. For the fuel, we're choosing to use a mixture of natural gas and veggie oil so that we can burn the flame to reach 2000 degrees Celsius, um, which is sort of, which is above the melting point of both sodium carbonate and sand. Um, yeah, so we want to figure out if we can actually make sodium silicate in our furnace. All our materials are in the boot and we're just going to our friend's house to set it up. We're just taking things from our car and we'll go set it up. And the dry bend also. Jesus. Going over that bump. Yeah, I think this is just loosened from the bottom this way. That's pretty good. Easy. You bring the crucible or anything. So we're setting up the furnace right now. We're connecting the fuel to the furnace and we also have our air compressor over here and our gas tank and we're going to start by using the natural gas to heat up the furnace and then we'll switch to the vegetable oil over here. Oops. Hello. Just got on Instagram. Sit out some pies. So this is our final setup. We have the furnace over here, um, the gas tank over here, and it's also connected with the vegetable oil we have right here and we'll be using the natural gas first to heat up the furnace and then we'll switch to the vegetable oil right there and Steve is right now trying to connect the air compressor to the power beautiful the furnace is finally working
so that it doesn't have Confirmed that we definitely had already built the furnace. I guess we did get hotter because we know the things that we didn't know last time. Yeah. So that's the hottest, hottest we've done furnace so far. Yeah. Now, I think part of our problem is that the refractory isn't reflective enough. The gas tank's acting up, so I think it's just sort of empty now. Oh, it seems like everything's fucking broken, so... Uh, so basically this is like the best. Yeah. Oh, look at the gas tank, it's fucking broken. Yeah. That's good, that's enough. Yeah. I think with the more reflective like refractory, we'll do a lot better. Uh, the, the... I think this stuff's really good for the outside, but not for the inside. We clearly need something different on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, we need a... We obviously, we need a layer that's highly uh, reflective and temperature tolerant. Um, this stuff, while it, it structurally it holds up, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible insulator. It's conducting like crazy. Like my, my old furnace that I, I made with some haphazard recipe was a better insulator than this. Ceramic fiber and just plastering the inside with talc mixed with uh, sodium silicate. Yeah, it's such a shame that it didn't work out, so we just need to yeah, build a quits. better furnace yeah, next time. Good. Um, but, okay, so, let's have a look, so, oh no, it is working, okay, it's not clogged. Is that just too, too low? The furnace looks destroyed and the crucible over there is still glowing. Got in like that. And yeah, you just lever it. Nice. It's sort of welded to the furnace. Look inside the furnace, man. It's fuck. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's glass. Well, it's just like semi glass stuff. Fuck. <laughs> well, oh my god, the wall is just absolutely glowing. How Do you know what? It? Do you know what? That is solid as well, that bit that's peeled off. Shit. That was hot. I don't know why this thing didn't fucking work again. Yeah, no shit. I really got to smell Like, that's properly vitrified. Yeah, yeah. And how is, like, as, this, as I was saying before, it's terrible conduct, uh, like a terrible insulator. How is the paint still on yet? The front in this wall is glowing, and when you throw water on it, what happens? <laughs> Good paint. Yeah, I guess. Yikes. Oh man, how are we gonna fix this? Can you... That's like proper. We should build. We should build a structure out of bricks and then fill it with this stuff and then put like fire bricks something on the inside. It's like a massive in-place furnace here. With that would be room sick. for about three crucibles and you just take one in, one in. You know. And as you can 
see, we didn't achieve the results we wanted. We weren't able to melt our ingredients, sodium carbonate and sand, to form sodium silicate. Um, that's because of the furnace temperature not being high enough to reach their melting point. So we're trying new methods to actually bring about the reaction so that we can get the results we wanted. <laughs> Although our furnace was absolutely destroyed, so we probably have to remake a new one before that. Um, if you do know how to maximize our furnace performance, please comment below to let us know so that we can try your methods.